Hey, hey, hey. Can I get a little bit more up, up here, too? Thank you, sir. You're a champ. Check, check, check. Hey. Hello. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back. Ooh. That Waldorf salad's coming back up on me. Hey, hey. I'm going to try to... I was going to say, how about a big hand for Sean Coyle back there doing the sound, ladies and gentlemen. Sean, this is his first Billy Block show, and the Suttler is kind of a new music venue, and this is a, kind of a trial by fire, but I think he's doing a fabulous job on the sound, because he's got 600 people coming back going, hey... Uh, turn this up. Turn that down. So, Sean, God bless you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you for tonight. Good job. Um, well, I mentioned earlier, uh, my good friend Baylor Wilson, who uh, you saw earlier tonight, um, when I put this show together, we had talked about, she said, Billy, I've got some wonderful friends that I want to introduce you to, and I'd love to be able to do a show where I can play, and your friends can play, and my friends can play and we'll have a big night of it, and that's what tonight is all about. So, um, our next performer, this is his first time on our show, and, um, and he, mom and dad are here, <laughs> obviously. No, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, it's great to have him here with us tonight, and if you would please make him welcome. This is his debut on the Billy Block Show. This is Seth Ennis, ladies and gentlemen. Can't stop thinking about the way you move tonight. You got everybody watching, and you call my eyes. I've seen you here before, and I let you go. But this time, I've got it. Hey, baby, can I call you baby? This is worth a try. I can be your anchor, you just gotta let go. You can be a fish, you so keep me on the down low. Thank you. 
You guys having fun? Some sweet talent, some young talent. Man, those, those guys before us, Mojo. Thank you guys, that was ridiculous. So, uh, like uh, Billy Block said earlier, Billy, thank you so much for having me out here, wherever you are. There he is. Thanks, dude, I already love you. Um, so yeah, my, my really good friend, Baylor Wilson, uh, got me here to play this gig with her tonight and some friends, some of my friends. And uh, so uh, I told her I'll do our, her favorite song. So uh, this is her favorite song, and this song is called The Nice Game. Seem to work for me Found myself playing on a losing team I would strike out before I got the chance to play So I got real used to holding the seat For the guys the girls chose over me Hoping I would get my chance to shine someday But when you call my eyes To my own surprise I realize if I wanna catch your eye
cracking coke of a smoke Alone at the bar, staring at your phone It passes from the dry, your flame is burning Now tell me, do you need a light? I just want to put your mind So if you need a talk, or a drink that strong Girl, feel free Introduce my band real quick. This is Mr. Mike over here, Mike O'Reilly. Not O'Reilly. I always call you O'Reilly. It's the O'Reilly Packer. I'm sorry. Is, is he your Twitter name or Instagram name? Oh, look at that. That's why. This is Mike O'Reilly on the bass. Uh, this is Mr. Tyler Tomlinson on the guitar. Mr. Mr. Ben Miller on the everything back here. And this is Mr. Jimmy O'Cock on the drums. These guys are awesome. They uh, they tour with a lady by the name of Jamie Lynn Spears, and so they're on the road all the time, and uh, they took the time to come out and play the show with me and Baylor, so let's give them a hand real quick. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> all right. All right, so here's a new song. They were playing a full band. Cool, is that all right? That's the cool part about Nashville, right? Hey, hey, there we are. So this song is called Starstruck. I wrote it with my good buddy and roommate from California, Mr. Jonathan Sherwood. He's in the back. Hypnotizing Stop 
freaking awesome. You guys have been freaking awesome. Thank you for uh, hanging out and listening with us. Uh, this is going to be my last song. Do we have any uh, anyone from California in the room? Woo! Oh, we do. Perfect. <laughs> this is another song I wrote with my friend from California. And uh, this song is called Cali Girls in Cowboy Boots. Woo! So hopefully you guys like it. The sun is breaking and flying in the LAX I want the bass drum beating down in my ship When I drive on the vibe, I'm coming alive We're gonna hear it like this, come on! Work speeds up, barely scraping by But I got enough for a ticket paradise I'm going downtown to see what all the talk is about
course not. 
It's root beer. That's the only beer I drink. How about a hand for Seth Ennis, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> I love it. Anyway, um, we're having a great time tonight. Are y'all ready for a little honey? Are y'all ready for some honey tonight? We got a little honey coming up next, and then Okanali, and then we're going to say goodnight until next time. We will be back here in November. We've already booked the date. It'll be Wednesday, November the 12th. We'll be back, and it's going to be a big night of TJ. Now, I know everybody loves the food here. Everybody loves the drinks here. I see lots of poo-poo platters coming out of the kitchen, and I see uh, uh, pork rinds with cheese dip. And I've seen some uh, pickle dip, and I've seen a lot of beef going out there. So y'all keep eating and drinking and taking care of your folks. But how many people here are frequenters of Trader Joe's in Green Hills? How many people, how many Trader Joe's lovers do we have? I want to hear you. All right. November is our second annual Trader Joe's Employees Music Show. Now, when you go to Trader Joe's, 90% of the people that work at Trader Joe's play music. That's their passion. They work at Trader Joe's to make a living, and I think they also get some pretty good benefits. But most of them, if they had their druthers, would be on stage playing. And this is what we do for the second year. Uh, Trader Joe's is one of our sponsors, and we're delighted to have them here with us in November. Oh, my goodness, there's my, my trophy wife, Jill. And uh, she's... Passing around the tip jar. We're collecting funds tonight for a very special cause, and I want Jill to take the microphone. I want my, this is my wife, Jill, and I want her to take the mic away from me, please, because she has a very important message. So, funny story, true story. I got married to Billy, and we had a glass of champagne in our little Model A car that we did, you know, 22 years ago, and he said, you have driven me to drink. This is the first drink I've had in seven years, the day I got married to you, and then he stopped again for 22, so I think that's pretty good, so, anyway, <laughs> I drove him to drink on our wedding day, but ever since we've been pretty good, so anyway, we're, we have a charity tonight, the blocks are in the giving back mode, because all of you have been so generous to us the last year with um, all of our battles with Billy's cancer and all the issues that came up with that. So Music Health Alliance is our charity. They are a great nonprofit organization that helps get insurance for people like us that um, didn't have insurance or were underinsured. So uh, $1 equals $30 in help for musicians and people in the music industry for Music Health Alliance. So I'm going to pass the bucket. I know some of you have already contributed and we thank you. But um, in an effort to give back, here we go. And next month we will be back here uh, with the Trader Joe's show. So come on back and enjoy us next month as well. And thanks to everybody at the Stuntler. We sure appreciate you.